The first Alcibiades is a dialogue between Socrates and the confident and young Alcibiades, the good-looking and charming friend and relative of Pericles. Alcibiades is about to embark on a political career, instructing the people of Athens when to engage in war or peace. In some cases, war is the right course of action, and in other cases, peace is preferable. However, this question is also a question of justice, when a war is the just course of action or its opposite. If Alcibiades knows the right course of action for the city, does he have an understanding of justice? Therefore, the dialogue is also about the question of justice. The first Alcibiades was long considered the proper introduction to Platonic philo political philosophy throughout antiquity, though perhaps a modern starting point is by way of the Mino. The setting of the first Alcibiades is not made explicit. Socrates has apparently annoyed Alcibiades and followed him somewhere. Socrates confesses his love for Alcibiades and tells him that he needs Socrates' teaching if he is to accomplish any of his political ambitions. To prove why Alcibiades needs Socrates, Socrates takes upon himself to narrate the importance of self-worth of a person, the context in which a person is evaluated, and the virtues that are necessary to be successful in society. Socrates says, Mistakes in life and practice are likewise to be attributed to the ignorance which has conceit of knowledge. Since the beginning of this conversation, it's the first time Socrates addresses the innocence young men like Alcibiades, sorry, Alcibiades possess. He is, in fact, attacking the young man's education and what Socrates believes an unpreparedness to thrive in the politics of Athens. Alcibiades professes himself to be a good advisor to the Athenian people, though he is only an accomplished writer, liar, prayer, and wrestler who descends from a noble and ancient Athenian family. Instead, Alcibiades intends to advise the Athenians on war and peace and the concerns of the city. And how does he know what is a better course of action for the city? On the basis of justice. Alcibiades claims to possess knowledge of justice. The dialogue proceeds with it being revealed that Alcibiades either a does not have the wisdom or knowledge he claims to possess or b he has it but is unable to articulate what it is that he possesses. If they have no self-knowledge or virtue how can they possibly lead other men to war or peace? The dialogue comes to light as a reorientation of Alcibiades an encouragement for him not to give up on the question of the just things as well as the question of the nature of things so that he may be a better advisor to the Athenians. Socrates concludes the dialogue on an ominous note, hoping the best for Alcibiades but also fearing that the polis, which is the state, and the, or the demos, which is the people living in the state, may be too much for them both. Alcibiades in this dialogue struck me as a very interesting character, partly because his arrogance and false self-confidence, you can say, were perfectly real and truly correspondent to young people. Alcibiades struck me as a real, eternal type of character, even though he was vain. Alcibiades is a perfect metaphor for a young, crude mind, for one who thinks he knows, even when he knows not. A perfect metaphor for someone who is capable of learning but doesn't know he needs to learn. And what's more, the right illustration of how we youngsters think we have the world in our hands when the truth is that the world has us in, our, in its hands. And we shouldn't be tricked in believing we know it all when we know nothing. Moreover, the view of knowledge and self-knowledge has been noted too. Know thyself is perhaps one of the most powerful syntagmas we need to use even today, even if it's in a rather superficial way. Without knowing yourself, you know nothing. Nobody knows you and neither are you capable of truly knowing anything else. On the other hand, 
the know thyself plato seems to talk about here is not this apparently superficial but a know thyself strictly connected to the divine knowing your soul because that's truly what a human is in plato's conception not a body with components but the pure untrained soul capable of rememorizing ideas knowing your soul that is knowing yourself is the right way of living your life only then are you capable of true knowledge both with regard to yourself and others and only then may you pursue greater intentions when being true to yourself and being righteous and full of virtue should you try in advising others to do the same thing lastly the authenticity of this dialogue is still debated upon nevertheless the first alcibiades is an interesting dialogue between socrates and alcibiades that explores self knowledge and justice